Drop a like on this video within the next five seconds to wake up tomorrow with a demigod build. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the craziest news video I've ever posted on my channel. So whatever you got to do, make sure that like button is blue. Get yourself some popcorn, strap in, and let's get straight into the video. Real quick, I just want to say shout out to everyone who supports me, clicks on my videos, drops a like. You guys have completely changed my life. Words cannot describe how much I appreciate y'all. So anyway, let's get straight into the video, man. It's insane. Y'all know we always start off with a little warm-up. D now on Twitter said tired of watching people RT slash R2 across the court and do zero dribble moves shooting white fades. So guys, I want you to let me know in the comment section down below has patch three made NBA 2K21 a better or worse game or you can just type in W or L. Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's get into the biggest story of the entire year so far in 2K21. Every single person on Twitter today is talking about it. So a week or two ago, we were talking about the game who is the famous rapper who is also the top rep right now on NBA 2K21. Right when the game first came out, he got banned. He called Ronnie 2K live on stream and this is what he said. The game first time, mate. Yo, I'm, I'm streaming, bro. What'd you say? I'm streaming. Say hello to the people. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, yo, my just got banned, bro. I came out of a rec game and I'm banned. I can't connect to the servers. You got banned? What did you, what did you do? Bro, I didn't do s***. You know, I, like, I don't do s***. I know. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just playing with you. I'll, uh, I'll get them to look at that. Bro, I was in a f***ing rec game, man. Like, what? That's weird. All right, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Man, it must be nice to be able to just call Ronnie 2K and get unbanned, right? So he got unbanned. Then he got banned again on his account, The Game Season. As you guys will see, this is an old screenshot right here. The Game Season and the exact same day as you see the account right above it at number two g5 season just came out of nowhere 2k gave him a new account with the exact same rep he had before and now he's just all of a sudden number two after his account getting banned if it's not already crazy this is where it really starts so the other day he became the first elite three on 2k21 he unlocked mascots and on his profile he literally has a clip of himself boasting on NBA 2K21. In my last video, I said apparently he is. I said, you know, he someone could pull up on him and make it look like he's boosting, but he literally clipped himself boosting. Now, the word that's going around the community is that he has paid people to grind on his account, but it's the same thing. It's his account, he's boosting, he's showing it off like he's the one that's doing it. And guys, it gets even deeper. Right before I went to make this video, someone tagged me on Twitter of him boosting Gold Rush. Gold rushes today, as you guys see, that's his account with the mascot with the star over his head. And this dude's name is literally Gold Rush for fun. You see they're running out of bounds. They're throwing oops. They're getting this win, and he's definitely going to win Gold Rush. There's no doubt about it. Now, if you guys watched my last news video where I talked about this man boosting, what I said was I really don't care. As you guys see, this dude's name is Gold Rush Fun, literally running out of bounds. So they just made this account, or they just changed the name to Boost. I said I don't care. It's just that he's already already rich he's already a millionaire and he shouldn't be taking the number one spot from somebody because every year that gives someone a career that makes you know that changes their life and he's a dude that's already made it he's already rich taking that from someone i just don't think is a good thing to do i don't think that that's a good look so anyway every single day we're seeing another clip of him boosting and cheating and doing all this nadex said this is bad clutch df responded on twitter and said lmao how is he not banned smh 2k21 news they said geez hashtag ban the game iq contain said wtf nah bro but the big one is yesterday when he hit elite three he tweeted out his stream and said tune in now joe knows quote tweeted that and said you still owe me my money from when we dogged you in pro-am last year with quinn cook and then you ain't pay up so this man is not only boasting out here he is scamming youtubers and nba players okay he still has not paid up from his wager from last year and just in case you guys are wondering me and joe knows are cool now but this is insane guys this is going to be the first year that we know the top rep is a booster and even though it's current gym because that's the one excuse people like to use you still got to understand that this man is already rich and every single year the top rep gets lots of followers and subscribers and it makes them a career it changes their life 
and him taking that from someone is just not right that's all i gotta say about it but anyway it's been blowing up across the 2k community as i said every single person's been talking about it and this man the game himself tweeted out hashtag ban the game lol so he knows that he's not going to get banned he knows that nothing is going to happen to him even if he does get banned he'll get his account back like i said i really don't care at the end of the day it's just a video game but i know a lot of people want to know what's going on in the 2k community and especially who the top rep is and it also comes with some really funny things like hank the tank under his tweet saying ratioed by i'm davis this dude the other top like tweet has 13 likes and 21 replies saying ignore them clowns they're mad because you're better than them at 2k and if you guys don't know what ratio means man his tweet got ratioed bad we got one with 16 likes another one says bro he doesn't even play he gets other people on his account to play for him and boost with 22 likes basically basically what ratioed means is if you post something on twitter and it gets more replies then you have likes and it also has replies to that with more likes no one really agreed with what you meant anyway to end this off i've personally spoke to the game many times before a few years ago and he does genuinely sound like a good person and these guys on twitter are not snitching that are clipping him or anything guys he literally has posted it on his xbox profile himself he clipped it on his profile that went straight to his profile that anyone can see at the end of the day like i said it's just a video game it doesn't keep me up at night i don't get too involved with it i'm just giving you guys the news that's going around the 2k community so anyway 2k has posted next gen news on their twitter they said next gen is coming ps5 and xbox series x and s digital pre-orders and there you go guys the next gen release dates are right there xbox will be getting the game two days early you're going to be able to get the game early if you have a playstation 5 and the rest of the world will be getting it on november 19th if you're not in those countries right there big 2k news is probably going to be coming very soon for next gen since 2k has already dropped a little bit i would give it about a week or two and we might see something pretty big so we got some confirmed news already for next gen from 2k intel saying you are able to create female my players it will be a brand new game compared to next gen and a trailer will be dropping in the next few weeks i believe that was from ronnie 2 k stream we already know that information guys and by the way i just want to say real quick because i've seen a few comments on it guys i just give you the news you have to understand that i don't work at 2k or anything so if i see news and i put it on the screen and it says something and when the game comes out it's not there I, what do you want me to do about it guys i don't work at 2k you know what i'm saying anyway on 2k tv we got some big news from 2k themselves for the first time this year they are changing the look of the park we're getting a new park theme new park whatever you want to call it and guys, you remember how the Halloween thing went last year with the maze and how it made the course laggy and all that stuff? Nadex said, remember last year we had Halloween until Christmas? So we'll see how 2K does it this year, man, if they change up the theme after a month or two. But most of us are going to be on next gen anyway by that time for us to even know but like i told you guys this video is never ending insane news mike wang we've been going over the entire year how there's no ankle breakers on nba 2k21 tweeted out you should be seeing more ankle breakers today play with it for a while and let me know if it's good now by the way he tweeted this out one or two days ago so i went straight to the park guys i put on ankle breaker hall of fame tight handles hall of fame space creator hall of fame i wanted to see myself or ankle breakers actually in nba 2k21 let's find out right let's go so i go straight to the two score i'm spamming space creators spamming snatchbacks i never got a single animation bro i'm david said on twitter one month in three patches not one site of an ankle breaker so this is what i don't understand guys i honestly don't care if the game doesn't have overpowered ankle breaker animations or anything like that but let's go over it okay so sharpshooters they got their take where they can pull in people's faces they can shoot from half court we got post scores being able to unstoppable drop step post hook from the three-point line we got slashers being able to get crazy blow buys and dunk on people but playmakers in takeover can't even do the number one thing people make playmaking takeover for i don't know about that man i really do not okay it should definitely be fixed giuseppe tnb said 2k just be patching the most irrelevant stuff like how are you going to be slowing down dribbling when post hooks have been broken for two games two whole games how hard can it be to fix that i should never in my life see a 30 percent contest white go in and that man is a post score himself so he definitely knows that they are overpowered and that when you see someone complaining about their own build 
That's how you know for sure. Shake and Bake on Twitter said, pretty wild that they patched grinding for VC at damn near less than minimum wage hourly rates on Blacktop, LOL. They really want people to be forced to buy that. So guys, if you know the new best method after the patch, make sure to comment it down below so everyone can see it and you can help them out. Swante on Twitter said, you're literally ruining the game. Nobody was complaining about dribbling besides the speed glitch, which you didn't even fix. Why are you nerfing moves that nobody's complaining about? You're ruining ISO and nobody ISOs. You still haven't buffed Pick Dodger once. Revert at Baloo or Mike Wang and as I told you guys with the patch 3 all 2k did which everyone was complaining about was the speed glitch the glitchy dribble moves that made you fly across the court what they did was they fixed actual speed boosting and slowed it down and they did not fix the glitch move so now you're basically forced to do the glitch moves which makes you teleport across the court so guys let me know how you feel about patch three in the comment section down below. Has it benefited your build? Has it made you worse? Let me know, guys. It's your boy, Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. And today, guys, you need to make sure you've dropped a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'm out. Peace.